Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really, really well and had a great week. This video is going to be me showing you the contents of my handbag or my purse, as my American friends have been telling me they call it. So here is my ridiculously beautiful new purse. And this was sent to me by Teddy Blake, which was literally an absolute dream come true. Let me tell you how that went. So if you have ever seen Sweet Home Alabama that had, you know, that Reese Witherspoon rom-com, if you will, at the beginning of that, her husband or her fiance, her boyfriend, boyfriend, start again. Her boyfriend takes her into Tiffany's to like at night, turns all the lights off and is like, pick one. And that's how he proposed. So ever since seeing that part of that film, that's how I wanted to be proposed to, but that's not exactly how that went down. However, when Teddy Blake messaged me, that's basically what happened. They were like, we really want to send you a bag, pick one. And it literally, I was like Reese with a spoon for that moment. And let me tell you, it was probably the hardest decision of my whole life. It was like choosing between children because their bags, are insane. So I've had loads of questions. I posted a picture of it when it arrived on my Instagram and I've had lots of questions, lots of people wanting to know what's in it, what I keep in my bag. I've had that like request for a video for a while now and obviously now I can actually show you my bag because I have no longer got the shame because my previous bag was shameful. It's very, very old and battered and now I'm actually proud of my bag so I don't mind showing you. In fact, I, I love to show you because I'm very, very proud of it. So this is the Katie 10 inch and I picked the shade dark beige because it's just the most practical color for me. One goes with everything. It's a very classic color. It's never gonna be like out of fashion or out of trend. It's going to be timeless because it is just such a classic shade. Goes with everything you could ever be wearing and it's just such a practical like color, bag, everything about it is just totally practical, but at the same time, totally chic, which is exactly what I look for in a handbag. Like, because I'm a mum, I like need it to be practical. I can't have it be ruined, you know, if a toddler wipes some jam on it, or, you know, picks it up or drops it, or anything like that. I need it to actually hold stuff. I can't have a tiny little thing. I can't put nappies in there. I need it to be a good size. I need it to be really good quality because I need it to last. Like I can't afford a new one in a few months time because it's fallen apart. I need it to last me for years. So I need it to be really good quality. And I also need it to be really secure because one, I have like serious bag paranoia. You know, I lived in central London for a long time and I saw more muggings and more bags being, um, you know, like, stolen i worked in a restaurant and it was like a weekly thing that a customer would have their bag you know stolen off the back of their chair while they were eating or something like that and i'm not by the way just saying that like london is some kind of crime hub of the world it's just a, a major city and i guess it's the case in in a lot of major cities sadly that you know you have to really be careful with your bags so i need it to be really close and secure and this is the most secure bag i've ever seen one got a padlock on it I mean, it doesn't get much more secure than that, to be honest. But aside from that, so these are little key dangles, which is just so cute. So you can either have it like, you know, just for decoration or you can actually lock, lock it and then take this off and you can even wear it on your wrist because it's like a little bracelet. Um, or obviously you can leave it somewhere um, safe or keep it wherever you want. But I just keep mine on there. Don't usually lock it unless there's a specific reason why. Like if I had to check it on a flight or something and then I could take the keys with me. But generally I will have it either like this, which is again something I love about this bag, is you can have it all different ways. It's not just like one bag, you can completely style it however you want. So then you can just open these flaps. And again, sometimes I'll just take them out of their little slots there where they're so tidy and just have it like this, which I think looks really cute as well. But even then it's still totally secure, although you haven't got the padlock on, although you've undone these straps. To actually get, you cannot get in there at all. That's completely sealed off tight. And it's nice and solid and firm to open. So you can't just have someone's hand weevil in there, which again has happened to my mum. You know, she's had her purse taken out of her bag and she didn't even know it happened. Like 
people were are clever. So again, it's totally secure. But again, if I'm like popping to the, my local shop or like on the school run, for some reason I need to take my bag, generally because we're going to the parks afterwards or because it's full of forms that schools like to make you fill in, you can just have it like this. So it's just open and you can just get in there. So it's just so customizable to like you and your sir circumstances in your situation or the day that you're having how you choose to wear it and the final thing that is amazing about this comes with a strap can't tell you how useful that is because if you're like me and you have a child who will suddenly at any given moment throw an absolute meltdown tantrum and you have to pick them up even though you're carrying 46 other things strap is your best friend whoop it over your head and then you don't you don't need to carry it i actually prefer to carry it and i think it's really chic you know to carry it on your arm or to carry it in your hand but chic is not always an option with children they don't care about the chic they're disrespectful it also has these little stands on the bottom so you can put it on the floor or put it on you know somewhere that might not be the cleanest on a bench wherever you need to put it and you know that you're not going to scuff and damage the bottom which is I feel like they've thought of literally every single thing. Of course, they have, let me just take out some bits I've left in there. So of course they have a zipped compartment, a really decent size zip compartment. So again, extra security and bits that you can just hide from your children. And the standard little pockets in here, one is like a phone pocket. But again, even the inside, it's just so beautiful and chic and I I'm obsessed. So anyway, that is all the deets, all the tea about my actual handbag itself. But now for the real tea, what is in there? What's in there? Let's find out. Okay, so now for all of the goss, all of the tea of what is actually in my bag when it's like fully loaded for like my regular days out. So as you guys know, I am a mum of young babies. I am a working mum of young babies. So I always have a ton of stuff in my bag because generally I'll do like a school run and then I'll either be going to work or I'll have my kids for the day and we'll be going for a day out. So I need a lot of supplies in here. And although this bag is really lovely and compact, it fits an insane amount of stuff inside. So I'm just gonna start delving in here and whipping everything out that's in here, to be honest. The great thing here is that when it's really stacked and really full, I just don't close the flap, I just tuck the flap down inside there and then I can just carry it like this or I can carry it with the strap and you don't have to really close it so you can fit a few more bits in there. And if you take a few bits out and you can be more secure and fully close it up, it's just totally up to you. So the first thing I have in here is my sunnies. These are Bulgari sunnies and I will link them or I'll put the number down below so that you guys, if you like these, you can check them out. I got these, I've had these over a year and they are scratched to death, but I've been obsessed with them. They're so dark and they're actually really effective as far as actually keeping the glare out of your eyes. Um, so that's why I chose these. I wanted really dark ones. I also wanted ones that I could just chuck in my bag because I did have mirrored ones before and they just got scratched. I couldn't, I had to be like gentle with them. Whereas these I've just been able to chuck in my bag and they don't get scratched. You see with me that everything is literally about practicality and about its ability to survive my destructive life. Um, obviously I have my keys, so I won't show you my keys because that's boring, but I do think this is quite cute. So this is um, what my husband got me for our anniversary. I can't remember, it must either be our third or fourth, whatever leather is. So the, you know, the material for that anniversary was leather and we both got each other the exact same present. So this is like a leather key ring and inside it has a picture of our family. This is Grayson's um, newborn photo shoot and then this is our wedding day. And we literally both gave each other the exact same look. Go figure. So I always carry hairbands and Kirby's with me and those just go in my inside zip compartment because, you know, you know hair. I'll get halfway through the day and half of it will have fallen out you've got to be prepared you know so this side bit down here I don't know if you'll be able to see but there's some compartments in here that I showed you earlier and those are basically like my mum compartments so those are like my things my bits my special stuff so that is where I put all of like my makeup and girly things like that so I always take a stick foundation in my bag and I rarely use it but it's just for like an emergency because you don't need a brush or a sponge you can just 
dot it on and pat it in and it's not gonna break, it's not gonna leak. So I always have like any old stick foundation. This is just the L'Oreal uh, stick foundation that I reviewed and I always keep a stick foundation just in case, you know, something rubs off, a child swipes some foundation off your face and you can just do a little touch up or anything like that. So always have that in there you know, staples, hand cream. This is just my Ted Baker hand cream um, and my Barley Body lip balm because, you know, dry lips, the struggle is real. I always have whatever lipstick I've got on for the day. So this is Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin, which is what I've got on today. And I always have Max Doe lip density in my, lip, um, in my handbag because it's a lip balm and a lipstick and it just goes with any makeup look. So again, if I can't find or I've forgotten to throw whatever one I started the day with, I know that I can always rely on this one because it never comes out of my bag. It's always in there. And then I always have a lip gloss. This is the Fenty Beauty one, one of my favorites at the moment. And that's again, you just don't know. You don't know what might happen. So I just keep a lip gloss in there, all right? Yeah, nail file, got to have one. This is just a really cute, unnecessary, fancy nail file. Not just for me, because if I break a nail, I know that's a bit like, you know, calm down, things will be fine. But for me, if I break a nail or a nail like chips or something, I find that literally within 30 seconds, I'll have scratched one of my children. Um, so I always keep a nail file just so I don't have any sharp nails because my nails are quite long. Um, and same thing with kids, you know, you, they can like get a broken nails and things like that and sometimes we'll be out and suddenly I'll realize my children have like the claws of an owl and I ha don't know even how that happens it's like their nails grow three inches in a night sometimes so you can just before any of the judgy parents notice that they've got really inappropriately long fingernails and they're just useful these nail files for all kinds of things they just they're like the equivalent of like a Swiss army knife but for a mum. I always carry a hand sanitizer and I know lots of people don't like these because they are like full of chemicals I guess and alcohol and things that aren't really good for your skin but sometimes but especially when you are a mum and you're in places like soft if you've ever been to a soft play germs are definitely real in those places so I always just have this it's just in case there's an emergency obviously it's always better to wash your hands but if you're at a soft play, for example, if you're at a farm and someone has touched a goat or been licked by a sheep, your best friend. My absolute favourite item in my handbag is this stunning perfume case. So this is from Sylvain Delacour, which I reviewed her perfumes a few weeks ago and I'll link the review down below if you haven't seen that yet. It is my absolute favorite perfume brand of all time. I'm obsessed. I now have three of her perfumes. <laughs> and I had to get the custom box. So with the custom box, you basically choose these little like mini perfumes and they slip into this copper case. I mean, it's so beautiful and chic and just stunning and obviously keeps your perfume completely safe and secure in there. I'm a perfume addict. I always have perfume on. Even if I'm not leaving the house, I put perfume on because I just enjoy smelling it on myself. So you just slip your little perfume in there um, and put it in your case, it's in your handbag. Like, no, whenever I get this bad boy out, everybody is like desperate to know where I got it from because it's just so beautiful and chic and heavy you know it really does look very luxurious so this is what I always have my perfume with me I always take it everywhere I go and it's just so pretty and it's a really nice gift as well if you're looking for a gift or you know gift for yourself then this okay what else is in here Oh, see, now we're getting to like the real tea. So I, I've never seen anyone else with one of these before, but this is a little case for sanitary items. I know there's nothing to be embarrassed about with sanitary items, but they don't look very cute, do they? And you know what tends to happen if you've got like your, if you're on your period and you've got like sanitary pads in your bag, of course, at some point they'll fall out in some kind of embarrassing situation. Or if you're like me, your children will start using them as toys and like sticking them to their heads or something. Whereas if you can put like two or three in these little tins, which just come from Boots or Superdrug, um, and then they're hidden. 
and no one knows so if it falls out it's not embarrassing it's just a little tin and it's quite cute so hopefully it at least saves you like maybe one percent of the embarrassment that you probably experience throughout the day if you are a parent like myself what else we got in here guys what's it oh <laughs> my zipped compartment so zipped compartment in this bag is very important to me because like children not so smart put a zip on it they can't get in there that's all it takes a zip and they're like fools they did like they think it's like another world so my phone goes in the zip bit obviously i just have this case on it because i'm very accident prone so you know it's just a phone it's not very exciting i also again because of children have very strong painkillers in the zip bit because one children two soft plays also children but three i really suffer from migraines so i have to have like really effective really strong painkillers on me at all times because if i have excuse that rude loud bike but if i have a migraine suddenly come in during the day and i'm like at a theme park or a farm or at work i have to immediately take those and it might salvage my day so again i don't leave the house without those painkillers oh next up my purse so this is from osprey and it is just you know your standard nice little purse but again it's a, just a nice really neutral shade that really goes with everything and this was actually a gift from my beautiful friend debbie so thank you so much i love it i also almost always have my kindle i mean look at the state of this this is why I have it in a case, because of things like this, which undoubtedly I am not responsible for. So this is my Kindle. I take it most places with me. It's just in this pink case, but obviously here's the Kindle. Um, you know, if you're going to somewhere like the park or, you know, some kind of day out for your kids and you can just like, you know, sit and just read a book, it makes the whole thing a lot less painful. Should we look at what I'm reading? Oh, so I just finished This Is Going To Hurt, which is by Adam Kay, which is like um, the real life stories of a junior doctor. If you haven't read that, it is amazing. It's heartbreaking, hilarious, dramatic, insightful, everything that you would think it was gonna be. It's like real life Grey's Anatomy, slightly less sex. So that, I just finished that one. This is like an early reader's kindergarten book. And then this is Mind Hunter, which I've been reading for about six years. And that is like the FBI um, profiler who basically invented criminal profiling. And I'm obsessed with like serial killers and stuff. Like you can see like the rest of my books, there's like mostly serial killers on here and Nicholas Sparks because everyone needs some romance every now and then so that is like my kindle again I kind of take it everywhere with me um, and it's really nice and I think this is the paper white one it's really old I've had it for like a good five years but it's just you know it's absolutely perfect still works and it still just fits perfectly in here like this bag is just such a good size couple more little bits so practical things like a little hand mirror you know generally i use this to get things out my eye you know i don't have time for vanity during the day but generally at least three times a day some kind of monster just gets in my eye and i use this to get it back out deodorant always on hand because no one wants to smell bad and then i have this now i don't know about other countries but in the uk you aren't allowed shopping bags anymore you're not allowed if you buy something from a shop you're expected to just carry it about your hands for the rest of the day these days but you know it's because of the environment so we're all on board obviously but it's not the most practical i wish they'd just all get paper bags or something that was you know but they they aren't they just make you pay for them which continues to use plastic bags or you just carry it with your hands. So what I did is I invested, or in fact, actually that's a lie. I think I just got it free. This was just a freebie from Superdrug and it's just a little like shopping bag um, and you just scrunch it up or fold it up really small. So if I go shopping and I buy a few bits, I can slip it in here and I don't have to carry it in my bare hands or, you know, contribute to the plastic bag use in this nation any longer and last but not least i think the last thing i've got in here tangle teaser because i don't know about you but my children's hair does not stay neat for more than 30 seconds before it needs brushing again and don't get me wrong i'm not brushing their hair every five minutes but you know suddenly there's an impromptu photo shoot or you know judgy season from down the road appears then yes i do whip out my tangle teaser
I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, and the last thing, baby wipes. These are just Johnson's gentle ones, but baby wipes, any kind of baby wipe, always in my bag. One, because my son is not fully out of nappies yet. He's like two and he is just about getting out of nappies and getting toilet trained, but not reliable. I don't trust him as far as I could throw him. But also, children are disgusting. Um, I, I believe that that applies from like a newborn up to like 21. So, you know, sticky fingers, food on the face, you know, punami, explosion up the back, wipe their grubby mitts on me. Why have they always got to wipe their grubby mitts on you? Why? And these are the solution to every single one of life's parenting problems. So yeah, always got to be in there. So that is it. That is everything that is in my beautiful new handbag. I hope you found this interesting and it satisfied your nosiness about what is in my bag. Um, I will link anything that applied down below, any videos, reviews and things like that down below for you. And I'll link all the information about my bag down below for you as well if you want to check it out and the rest of the incredible bags that are on the Teddy Blake website. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to come back again so that I can see you in a future video. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye, 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 bye.